This is a rhythm section setup. The circle is a player. The uh, rectangle is a baffle. The rectangle with the dotted line is a baffle with the plexiglass top section. The uh, straight black line is a single music stand. The two black lines is a double music stand. The X is a microphone, and the X with a square is a direct box. If you decide to use an X as a person and the circle as a microphone, well, then you just put it in your key over here so you tell everybody what you want to do and go write it any old way you want. It's fine with me. As long as you can communicate what you want, it doesn't make a difference. The drummer, the bass player, and the guitar player have double music stands. They have to have double music stands. Okay, I'm the bass player. Ready? Boom, 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 Can't turn pages. And some of these charts have eight pages. So you put double music stands for the drummer and the bass player, and they expect it. And as a matter of fact, if you don't do it, they'll go looking for a music stand so they can do it before they start, because they know what's coming. See the way the piano is facing? If you'll notice, on the left of the piano is the hinge part of the piano hood. See that? If I was playing piano, on my left would be the hinge part, on my right would be the open part. Well, you notice I've got the hinge part facing the band so that it helps protect my mic that's inside from that leakage from the guitar and from the drums. So there's a reason to put the piano exactly in that angle. He's also, the guitar player is next to the piano because the guitar player and the piano player are playing chords, the same chords. When you have guitar and piano, they have to communicate on every chord on how they're going to play it so that they can get it correct. And then there's a baffle between the guitar. And I look at it, I'm taking the guitar direct, and I put a mic on his amp. And then there's a baffle, and then the drums are there with the four mics, like I told you. And the guitar's got two music stands, and the uh, drums have two music stands. Then there's another baffle over there because uh, the bass amp is over here. And the bass is on the hi-hat side of the drums. I might put the bass amp back a little farther towards that baffle so that it gets more protected. And also, they can all see eye to eye. They all have eye contact with each other. You could even move the piano and the drums just even a little more this way, a little more in, just so that they would be more of a circle. But I set it up that way just so that I could then take and say, oh, so now you're going to add horns, and I'll go to page Keep the rhythm section pretty much as it is. I could even keep that piano exactly as it was, but the only reason why I moved the piano back there, the, I moved the piano back there because of the trombone mic. See the trombone mic? If I had the piano where it was, the open part of the piano would go right into the trombone mic. But also the trombone would go right into the piano. <laughs> 